Hi, I'm Sean Fisher, the director of the Sturgis Ambulance, and I'd like to invite you to the 2022 Sturgis Ambulance EMS Week. This is a national event, and the Sturgis Ambulance takes this opportunity to recognize our ambulance crew that make sacrifices day in and day out for our community. It also gives us a time for the community to see what we as an ambulance service do and what we have to offer. Also, today is very special as we'll be doing a ribbon cutting for the SMART program, our Sturgis Mobile Response Team. The last five months, we have had three individuals that attended Lake Area Technical College to receive their certificate in community health care worker. The goal of this program is to link our providers and our patients. The link that the providers do not see the homes when the patients do not quite understand what the provider means in an appointment, we're there to fill that link. During the open house here, we have numerous events going on. Life Flight will be landing. We have jumpy castles. We have over 30 booths inside. We have touch a truck. So when you are involved in a motor vehicle accident or something, you're not as frightened with all the trucks around. We have fire trucks. We have tow trucks. We have our ambulances. All that people can touch, get in, look at, and understand what they are doing. I want to thank everybody and all the community for your continued support of the Sturgis Ambulance. Hi, my name is Teresa Farnsworth and I'm the area manager for Black Hills Life Flight. We've joined Sturgis Ambulance to partner for the open house for EMS Week in support of our EMS providers in our communities. We often partner with ambulance services and hospitals to transport patients to tertiary care to provide better outcomes for our community members. Well, I'm Seth Mendel with Black Hills Life Flight. We're based out of Rapid City, South Dakota. And I'm just gonna talk to you a little bit about um, our helicopter here and our service. We cover really the whole Black Hills area. Um, we'll go into Wyoming. We'll go into uh, areas of Montana sometimes, also Nebraska. So we, we really cover uh, a huge area it's it's hard to talk about the specifics sometimes we'll even do flights all the way over to Sioux Falls or Denver so um, this is a Bell 407 helicopter that you see here it's a great platform a great helicopter for what we do we'll do both scene flights which means scene of the accident and also interfacility transfers so transferring from usually a smaller hospital to a larger hospital that has better medical uh, capabilities Bell 407, we cruise at about 135 miles an hour. We fly with three people on our crew. It's uh, one pilot and one flight medic and one flight nurse. This is where we load the patient. Of course, these bags won't be here. And uh, we can take one patient at a time. We'll load the patient back here. A medic will sit on the left. Usually nurse will sit on the right. So this is where the pilot sits up front. Um, it's a single pilot aircraft. But again, great platform where a VFR program which means visual flight rules so we'll fly in cloudy days but we're not going to fly into like fog or um, something where we can't have visibility of the of the ground of the earth's surface um, which if you think about it for a helicopter I mean you know they're we're not flying in and out of airports we're flying to small hospitals to scenes you know our goal is to be here for the community um, to be available for emergencies and uh, yeah we do our best to to keep the helicopter running all the time. Thank you for attending today's open house and ribbon cutting for our new program, the SMART program, the Sturgis Mobile Response Team. At this time, I invite Daniel Ainsley to the stage to say a few words. Thank you, Sean. You know, Sturgis Ambulance has always been such an important part of our community. They provide a tremendous service, uh, not just to Sturgis, but to a vast area all around us and it's uh, always been fantastic that they're always there immediately when someone is in need and I think what this goes to show our new program that we're about to launch here is going to show uh, really their heart for their community ensuring that people are able to recover uh, more completely uh, more quickly make sure people are healthier uh, where they are staying all of these things will continue to enhance our quality of living uh, here is a uh, in our community Sturgis Ambulance has always done that, and this is now just going to be another step in that direction. So uh, to the graduates, thank you so much for everything that you have done, for all the hard work that you've already put into it. And this is going to be a fantastic program that's going to uh, do a tremendous uh, difference for us as a community. Thank you for your dedication to uh, all of us that reside here. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Lieutenant Governor Larry Roden was to be here this afternoon. 
but was called away East River after the storms this past weekend. He called this morning to make sure that he knew how sorry we were that he could not be here, but wanted everyone to know how grateful he is to see the CHW program up and running here in Sturgis. He also wanted us to mention the funding that Governor Nome set aside in the budget this year for EMS. This is the first time in numerous years that EMS had dedicated funds. Part of those funds have been set aside to purchase LIPAC 15s for all the ambulance services within South Dakota. These will be purchased through Physio Control. Physio is represented today by Will Franz and Don Potter. They're up there on the hill. Thank you guys, and thank you for working with the Department of Health on this. This is a huge step. Sturgis Ambulance will be the first designated CHW program within South Dakota Medicaid. That is a huge step for us. The first one in the whole state. And these girls get to be part of it. Hallie, Cody, Heidi, Nellie, and myself have put numerous hours in to get that done. We received a grant from the South Dakota Department of Health, Rural Health, which rep is represented today by Lance Iverson and Julie Smithson. Thank you guys. This grant allowed the Sturgis Ambulance to send these three lovely ladies through the Lake Area Technical College program the last five months. They have made sacrifices and are very dedicated to the program and I thank you for sticking with it through all the bumps. We have started the Sturgis mobile response team for the CHW program. If you see it in the community, you'll see the SMART program. The goal of the SMART program is to be the link between the providers and the patients. We're here to help the community be healthier in every way possible. We have also petitioned the South Dakota Board of Osteopath and will be going above CHW and offering advanced skills out in our communities. These will include blood draws, wound care, and immunizations for individuals that cannot get into their doctors. Our ALS providers for the program are Supervisors Heidi, Heidi Schultz, who just got called away on another emergency call, of course. Supervisor Cody Heipel. Nellie Isaacs, who is in with our plant swap. Kelly Schultz and myself. At this time, I'd like to present on behalf of the Lake Area Technical College, South Dakota Department of Health, and the Sturgis Ambulance, diplomas of completion of the Community Healthcare Worker Certification Program. First we have Stacy Kine. Whitney Peterson. And Marissa Rathard. I don't think any of us realize what these three girls have went through the last five months. Going back to college into a program that there was no direction, we have sort of paved the road ahead for everyone. We have numerous ambulance services reaching out to us to see how did you do this? What did you do? I believe that's huge and that's a part of all of us and all of you. At this time, I'd like to invite the Sturgis Chamber and the City of Sturgis representatives to the stage for the formal ribbon cutting and also if we can get Cody and Hallie. Also, economic development, if you please come up too. Department of Health, if you would please come up here also, where you're part of the grant. Thank you everyone who has made this possible and who stuck with us. Thank you to Monument Health for believing in us and partnering with us on this program. Thank you to Dr. Davis who has agreed to take on our, our medical director. And thank you to Dr. Mueller who is our ambulance medical director and sticks by with us every day. Would you like to say a few words, Veronica, on behalf of the chamber? Um, yes, um, I, my name is Veronica Grosick. I'm the executive director of the Sturgis Area Chamber of Commerce. 
and Visitors Bureau. And on behalf of our business community and our board of directors, I want to say congratulations to Sean, an excellent director, and of course your entire team. Congratulations, graduates. I think that um, we can all agree that this service will be absolutely excellent for the community of Sturgis. Thank you. Thank you.